Hey guys, when your dog returns home from board and train, you want to make sure that you are prepared by having a pet cot or a dog uh, cot for them so that they can practice the place command each and every day. That's an extremely important thing that they will be doing. Um, I recommend at least one and it just depends on the size of your home and how much space you have. Uh, you can also use area carpets. Uh, and bath mats they can be used as place but at least I recommend having one raised bed or cot where they go and they practice their place command while you are doing your thing so what I've done is I've pulled up the Chewy website and I'm going to show you what they look like so here we go all right so you can uh, the brands that I like I like the K&H brand because they look really nice um, and they also the Coolaroo this brand right here is also nice although i prefer the k h brand better you can get whatever one that you want it's up to you but at least have one when you go to purchase it uh, you want to make sure that you look for the size get the size appropriate for your dog's weight uh, and if you have a puppy then just do a guesstimate of you know what the projected uh, end weight is going to be on your dog and get according to that size um, and then, you know, just you'll have in one room, you can have the actual pet cot in another room. You can, so you're not moving the cot with you all the time or taking it with you. You can have, if you have a bath mat or an area carpet, um, that's, that's perfectly fine too. But just, there's something about a dog practicing on a pet cot for one, two or three weeks. And then when they come home, um, it's much easier for them to continue that practice if you have an actual pet cot.